in the figure below, AB is equal to AC. So you see how they told us that they're equal in length, and then they also showed it to us like that. So those two sides have the same length, okay? And then in another scenario, BD is the same as CD, and we can see that they are the same because they've got those. The reason that these ones have one line and then these ones have two lines is just to separate everything. Because if this, if this one only had one line, then it would mean that all four of those are the same. But that's not true. The first question for four marks is a congruency question. How do I know that it's congruency and not similarity? Well, it's all in the word. If you want a little trick, which I've obviously shown you this before, but let's remind ourselves. Similarity. Okay. Okay. So in the word congruency, we've got an E. Now that E has three parallel lines. See that? And there they are. You could imagine that that's an E. So, and then similarity has three lines going like that. Similarity. So, similar would be like that. So, this is definitely congruency. Now, when you think about congruency, I want you to think about side, 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 angle, side, um, angle, angle, side, and RHS. And then remember, what does congruent mean? Exactly the same. So, let's see how we can do this. We can start off by saying, in triangle A, B, D, is this one and triangle a d c okay so let's go find three things so remember we always have to find three things so the first thing we can find is that a b a b is the same as a c we're just finding three things that are the same in both triangles so the reason for that is given they gave us that. They told us that. We didn't have to go do anything. They literally told us that. The next thing is that these two are the same. So we can just go say BD is the same as DC. And that was also given. Now, what's the third one? Because remember, we need three things. Well, that's actually quite easy. Check this out. This line is actually a boundary between the two triangles. So if we had to pull the two triangles apart, you would look you would get something that looks like this. That would be triangle BAD and you would get um this triangle over here. A D C. But the point I'm trying to make is that you would have AD in both. So this side is a side for both triangles. So we could say that they are the same as each other, obviously. But now you won't say given, you would rather say common. They are, if you if you go outside, let's say you have a house, right? Outside. Uh, or no, you have a house that you're living in right now, but you have a garden and you have a wall. Now, if you go outside and you have a wall and you have a neighbor, does your neighbor, do you and your neighbor have the same wall? Yes, that's called a common wall. It's common to both houses. So it's common. Now, there's one, two, three things. Fantastic. So what we can then do is say, therefore, these two triangles, now just use the order that they gave you, is triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. Now the reason will be, well, what is this? Is this an angle or a side? That's a side. Is this an angle or a side? That's a side. Is this an angle or a side? That's a side. So that would be the SSS. So you're just going to say SSS. That's how you do it for four marks. Then this last one says, hence, prove that DA, so DA is this one over here, bisects BAC. So now where's BAC? Well, to find BAC, you start at B, then you go to A, and then you go to C. There we go. Now, let's talk about this a little bit further. 
because I know that when I was in grade nine, these kind of questions confused me. Like, what does bisect mean? And maybe you know what it means. You're like, yo, yeah, okay, if it means cutting off. But do you really understand it? So let's talk about that a bit. If we have a situation like this, and here we've got an angle 30, and here we've got an angle 70, then does this line bisect this angle? Well, no, because the word bisect means to cut in half. So these two are not the same. So it's not cutting it in half. To cut something in half means that this would be 50, for example, and this would also be 50. So these two parts would be the same. So what they are saying is prove that DA, this line, cuts this angle in half. So they want us to show that these two are the same. Now, why would they be the same? Well, think about this. We've just proved that this triangle is exactly the same as this triangle. So that means that these two parts have to be the same. So we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. Why? Because we've proven that. Then you can say, therefore, angle A1 has to be the same as angle A2. And that is all you say.